Hello everyone, my name is Sergeant Red Phoenix, and yes, I am not dead. Now, if you've been a sub for me, you may think I'm dead, but I'm not. I've just been extremely busy. I did have a message the other day relating to this topic I'm about to discuss, and just asking if I stopped posting videos. No, I've just been really busy, and I had a few technical difficulties which I will discuss. The technical difficulties sort of relate to this topic anyway, so it, it flows naturally pretty well. Um, a few weeks ago I decided to upgrade my graphics card. Um, the reasoning behind that was to sort of, there's, there's no such thing as future proofing. Um, there is to an extent, but um, yeah, I'm not really going to go into that. Um, so I decided to upgrade my graphics card. Uh, at the time, I had an XFX 6870, really good card. Um, I really liked it. Uh, XFX is a fantastic brand. Um, my new card is an XFX one as well. Um, yeah, big up XFX. So I decided that card was good. Um, it's still I can still play games on medium to high. Um, some games ultra, depending on the game and resolution and stuff. Um, but going forward uh, for Battlefield 4 and, and even Crisis and some of the other games that are coming up. Um, it just wouldn't give me the quality that I wanted, um, and so yeah, I decided to make a change. So I've been doing a bit of research for a while. Um, I've always been an AMD uh, fan personally, and that's just really just because uh, the pricing factor. Um, uh, an AMD 7970, which is what I bought, still comes under just about 100, 80 to 100 pounds cheaper than a 6870, um, which would be, and it's in comparison now. I know a lot of people are going to say the 6870 is a better card. I would argue that to a certain extent. It depends on what you're using the card for. There are games out there that are better for NVIDIA cards and there are games that are better for AMD cards. So to say one card's better than the other on an overall consensus would, would be wrong. But yeah, I went my XFX 7970. Now, got the card, it came, it was dead. I tried all sorts to get this thing working, couldn't. So. I had to go through a process of getting the card replaced, I had to go back, I had to be tested to confirm it was dead, it wasn't my system, so that whole process took around a week, and I got my new card, everything was great, just in time for the, uh, the Alma 3 Alpha, which is great by the way, but it's coming up at that price soon. So the reason that relates to today's topic is, a while ago I'd made a video about building rigs um, regarding um, an entry, medium and high level. Now. Um, I had already done the entry and mid-level, uh, I was looking at the high-end one and I was thinking to myself, by the time I get this video it's going to be dated, um, there's not going to be any longevity to it. People may look at this in a couple of months time and think, fuck that's, that was wrong, but at that current time period, it was it was perfectly good. Um, so I managed to stumble upon a website, uh, I had seen it years ago but it was in the form of like a picture type thing, it was known as the Falcon Guide, um, it's now known as logicalincrements.com, um, I'll put a little thing up in the background so you can see, um, basically what this website is, it's components on how to build a rig, and it ranges um, systems from destitute right up to monstrous, um, it is pretty good, it breaks up everything that you need, it's got the, basically what sort of category we fall into, it's got graphics card, CPUs, it's got cases, motherboards, RAM, hard drive, SSDs, power supplies, cases, the total price. The other thing I really like about it is it's also got a country selection. So if you choose, for instance, where I'm from, the UK, you choose one of these options, it will take you to Amazon, where the item is, and you just hit buy. The other good thing about that is it also gives you um, a component to look for. So if you don't like Amazon for whatever reason, you can go, right, I know the name of that motherboard, and you can go looking elsewhere. What I'll do as well is I'll leave a link below to all the UK manufacturers and a number of other ones um, that I found um, from an old video. And you can sort of mix and match these. And the guide will give you longevity because it is up, it's updated regularly. So um, I think it's every quarter or so um, of the year it's upgraded or every so many months. So every time you go to this website, you're going to see the up-to-date guide. And given the, the nature of the, the PC component market, um, I thought it would be better to send you guys somewhere where it's regularly updated and it's not going to be antiquated um, after a few months. So, I've looked at the website, I've looked through all the components, um, I'm not going to send you guys somewhere where I don't think the information is true or the information is what you guys need. Um, all the components on here I wholeheartedly agree with. There is one area that seems a bit light on recommendations and that is power supplies. Now, 
Antec Seasonic are fantastic power supplies. They're very reliable, very powerful, great. There are also a few other brands that are really up there on the market that aren't mentioned. Uh, Corsair, Cooler Master and XFX. XFX are mentioned later on in um, the Pro Series, but yeah, uh, I personally would recommend an XFX um, wholeheartedly. Their components are so good. Um, the XFX power supplies actually use Seasonic components. Very reliable. I'm pretty sure it's something ridiculous, like a five-year warranty with the, the power supply. Um, very, very good. They come in both standard with all the cables and they come in modular format where you can basically only plug in the cables you need. Um, it gives you the nice tidier cases. Um, regarding cases, it's PC cases. I'll always say it as personal preference. Um, the guy recommends a couple of cases, but buy what you want. The only thing I would say is don't cheap out on them. Don't spend a lot on your components and buy a case that's like £15 or $20. Just don't do it. Um, it's not going to give you the airflow and stuff you need. So yeah, um, that's all I've got to say on that uh, sort of subject. I wanted to do something better for you guys rather than just me making a video that's going to be outdated so on and so forth. So that's really it for today's video. Now, I just want to keep it on this subject. I will be releasing a further update video in the next couple of days or so. I'm um, telling you what's been happening, what's going to be coming up on the channel and stuff like that. Um, I just want to keep this video solely related to the, the topic at hand, which is PC components. So, um, as always, um, please leave your comments um, below. Um, if you're not sure about anything on this website and you want to drop me a message just for a quick question, feel free to do so. I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Um, I'd rather someone asked about something rather than just went ahead and bought it and then realised, shit, I've made an arse of this. So feel free to drop me a message. As always, uh, thank you for your support. Um, if you liked the video, please leave a thumbs up. Um, please follow me on Twitter. Please follow me on Facebook. I'll leave all that stuff below. Um, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.